Do you want to edit like this? What's up guys, it's Killer, and today I'm going to be telling you guys a few tips and tricks that I did that ended up helping me double my edit speed or will help making your edit speed faster, more consistent, so if you guys want to edit like the clip you just saw, make sure you guys stay to the end of the video, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright y'all, so before we get into like the tips and tricks and all that, I'm going to explain to you guys my binds and my settings and all that. So basically, I play on confirm edit on release plus double edit binds. Now. The reason for that is because I play Claw and on my old binds, which was Sway binds, and then I switched to um, L1 Confirm. Basically, my hand would cramp up a lot when I would be editing. Like if I would try to edit fast or try to edit a lot, like right, like I am doing now, um, my hand would cramp up a lot. And even though it still does, it doesn't do it as much with the um, with the edit on release. And that's because obviously, as soon as you select, you just let go, and then that's that's the edit right there. Now, I, even though I do play um, edit on release, I still play edit on release with double edit binds. Now, the double edit binds is useful because you still need a confirm bind for when you reset build with edit on release. No matter what, you still need a, a, a reset bind, a reset and confirm bind. So, I reset with L2 and then I confirm with L1. And now, that really does help with my resets. Like, my resets may not be the fastest, but they are very efficient. So. If I'm like in a 1v1 or whatever and I need to reset a build real quick, it, it is very useful to have the double edit binds. Now, even though I play on a PlayStation controller, um, in my opinion, I don't want to say I have the best bind, but if I play Claw, I would say um, Triangle is probably one of the best binds when playing Claw. But in all, I would say the best binds for editing on PlayStation controller would be um, <clears throat> left stick and touchpad. Now, it's all personal opinion, obviously. like. If you think that triangle is better than touchpad, if you think the left stick is better than touchpad, or touchpad is better than left stick, it's all personal opinion. It's whatever you're most comfortable with. But from what I've seen, I would say left stick or touchpad is like the two best binds out of every button. And if you don't play um, Xbox, if you play on an Xbox controller, um, I would recommend either left stick or if you play paddles, definitely edit with a paddle because from what I've seen, editing with a paddle is definitely more superior than claw. But it obviously depends on how good you are with timing and all that. Alright y'all, so the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to editing fast and doubling your edit speed and all that is consistency. Now, if you look at fast editors like BH Not Luke, uh, Chronic Slam, LD, people like that, you can tell that they are very consistent editors. And what I mean by that is like they rarely mess up. If you just look at their playstyle, if you look at the way they play, you can tell that they don't mess up when they're editing. And the reason for that is because they obviously practice editing a lot and they're very consistent and the consistency in my opinion is definitely probably the most important thing that I'm going to be talking about today and the reason for that is because you can't like be fast without being consistent now being consistent comes with time but you have, like you can't automatically start off fast you can't automatically start off just doing this yeah, as soon as you try to start editing you need to like obviously like ease into it so you want to start off slow at the same speed once you are consistent enough on that one speed you get faster you start picking up the speed and then you just get to like the max point that you possibly can when it comes to editing now for me the fastest i probably can get to is like like this but like i still stall sometimes because i'm not 100 percent used to timing but that's probably like one of the faster ways i can get to like it, it all depends because it all takes time like i'm probably i'm definitely not the fastest i can get to but i'm probably gonna get there eventually just with some more practice i'm not the most consistent editor now <clears throat> When you are first starting off like spam editing or whatever, and let's say you're not that fast yet, you just want to do this. Just start off very slow, like maybe like the slowest that you think is like like somewhat fast, but like you're not the most consistent on. Like you start off like like this. You start off like slowly, and then once you feel like you're at a level to where you're consistent enough to where you think you can start upping the speed, you just and you just uh, like get faster like over time, and. <clears throat> You have to get used to your binds. Like obviously, obviously, if you want to get used to this, you need to have good binds because consistency comes with being used to your binds, being used to timing, all that. So, if before you start focusing on your speed, you obviously want to focus on your consistency at a slow pace, and you want to focus on remembering your binds because the, the amount of people that switch their binds and then they think that they're like 
amazing at it but then they actually try to go fast and they like they try to like do all this crazy stuff they can't do it because they forget their binds or they like the muscle memory is not there yet you always want to build up the muscle memory you always want to build up your speed gradually you don't want to rush into anything because that's just not how you get better that just makes you worse if anything now one thing you can try and do when it comes to your consistency you can go on a metal cone or a metal wall or anything and you want to practice your spam edits now as you can see you get to that max edit speed and once you get to a certain point of like just the amount of edits that you do in a, in a like span of like 5 seconds, 20 seconds, or whatever, the metal cone or any metal build for that matter will end up going invisible. So I'm going to show you guys that now. Now, as you guys saw right there, there were moments where I did start to like stall a little bit. Like I would start going and then I was like stall for like a second and then I would like, start going fast again. And the reason for that is like I was kind of rushing it, which you obviously don't want to do. I didn't mean to do that, but you don't want to rush it. If you want to like do it, you want to do it slow. Like, like maybe like a little fast, but like slow enough to where you are consistent like this. Like make it slow, but not too slow. You know what I'm saying? Because like if I were to do it at max speed, like which I kind of just did, um, I could definitely do it a lot quicker because like the faster it's like basically when it comes to making the cone invisible it's like the more edits you do in the amount of time is what makes it invisible it's like people like not loop or whatever they can do it in like maybe five seconds or less but like me personally it'll probably take like 20 seconds or 10 seconds but <clears throat> you obviously want to start off slow like do it slow enough to where you are just like consistent you want to get every single edit down so you don't mess up because like I said consistency is the most important thing when it comes to this and that is what you want to practice more than anything before you do anything else is you want to get as consistent as you possibly can with your speed now another thing I want to talk about when it comes to fixing your edit speed or making your edit speed faster all that stuff is um, the amount of input delay that you hold now input delay is definitely an issue if you have 30 plus ping everyone knows this the higher the ping the more input delay you're gonna have obviously a 30 plus ping editor versus a zero ping editor isn't gonna edit as fast as the person on zero ping right but just because you're on 30 plus ping doesn't mean you can't get fast there's def there's a plenty of people that are on 30 plus ping that edit fast and now the way you can lower your input delay even though you're on 30 plus ping or whatever even on zero ping this still helps it helps everyone you want to download time resolution now time resolution is not a hack time resolution is not a bannable thing it's not a program that like everyone else can't get that everyone get banned for it's literally a program that reduces input delay it literally makes your pc run fast that's really all it does that it doesn't like it doesn't help benefit you in any other way other than the fact that your response time is fast that's really all it does now it doesn't like it's not like a macro to where everything is like it's not like a macro to where like your edits will be done for you or they will be instantaneous it's, it's not like that all it does is help your input delay that's all it does now <clears throat> i will leave a link in the description to my friend Gwizpy's video that he helped explain exactly how to download time resolution in the in the most vivid instructions I've ever heard in my life and it's very easy just follow exactly what he does and everything will be good so that's one way to reduce input delay another way is um uh, this is a setting that is in your Larry in Fortnite. It's a setting in Fortnite that not many people know about, but it's starting to become a little bit more popular now. And basically, what it is is obviously when you go to like change your binds or whatever, you can see down here underneath the controller configurations, this is controller platform. And in controller platform, you see Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and generic. Now, I play on a PlayStation 4 controller, but I play on the generic settings. And the reason for that is because my friend showed me this recently, and the, the generic settings. For some reason, I don't know why, I don't know how, it makes your input delay or makes your controller like feel very responsive. Now, you can like from basically from when I did this, I definitely felt a difference. My friends that did this, they definitely felt a difference. Everyone that I've known that done this so far has felt a difference when they switched to generic um, controller platform. Now, like I said, it's not a hack, it's not bannable. You can do this. Anyone can do this. Now, obviously, if when you're on like your regular controller um, input, like let's say you're on a PlayStation, like I'm a normal PlayStation, I'll go to this. Like obviously, everything feels like like normal, but compared to like when I'm on generic, my sensitivity feels a lot slower right now. Like as of right now, I feel very stiff being on this, and it's actually shocking to me that it feels this stiff. Obviously, I can still do this stuff because it's like very small movements, but it still feels like very slow. My sensitivity feels slow on my regular like input. Now, when I go on generic, 
everything feels a lot more responsive i feel like i can like just move around a lot more vividly like i don't know why it just it just that's how, it's how it feels to me and to everyone else that's done this setting that i know they said that this definitely does help your input delay and that's just like they, i don't know if that's maybe just us i don't know if that's just our personal opinion but like i said it does help that from like from multiple people that told me this does help you so maybe when you go to your settings you go change your binds go to down here on the control platform or all your like all the type of controllers and put on generic and that will most likely help end up helping you guys when it comes to your alright so that's gonna be it for today's tutorial let me know if you guys want me to do another one like this another quick tutorial with a bunch of tips and tricks maybe if you want me to do one about fixing your mechanics or maybe if you want me to do one about like another edit one or if you want me to do one about aim like stuff like that um let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see that because i'll always be open to doing one of those tutorials again but um let me know like what helped you the most for me personally what helped me the most was when i switched to the um generic the generic settings that definitely did help me the most because even though i just did it recently i definitely do see a difference in my edit speed and i'm probably sure if you look at my videos over time you will see once i switched to generic my edits did get faster or maybe more consistent but that's really going to be all for today's tutorial let me know in the comments if you want another one follow all my socials which are linked down in the description follow all of team delirium socials and yeah i'll see you guys later